what could West Indies have done better against Ashwin and Jadeja? For a start, we have to understand these are two quality bowlers. The one main aspect that West Indies is definitely missing is their defence. They are not trusting their defence enough because when the ball turns and bounces, which happens quite a bit with both these bowlers on a dry pitch, I think they are looking at scoring options which don't exist. Trying to take on shots which probably needn't be played because they don't have trust in their defence. And that's what world-class bowlers do. They question you with some tough balls and when you get flustered and play shots that you're not too sure of, then you end up losing your wicket. I think West Indies need to go back to the drawing board. And one batsman who's really good at it over a period of time and has done that really well is Brathwaite. And in the recent past, Blackwood and Chandrapal have also done that at times. What they need to do definitely is make sure that they trust their defence because if they don't do that, then they'll find it very hard to play both the spinners who actually bowl beautifully today. Just now, a week ago, they were in Zimbabwe trying to qualify for the World ODI World Cup that's going to happen in India. And they ended up losing that. And they ended up losing that quite a, in a quite a convincing manner where they didn't beat Sri Lanka, they didn't beat Netherlands, they didn't beat Zimbabwe. So they'd be very disappointed with that. And they've had a very decent team. Why is this happening? Everybody's asking. In the last two World Test Championship cycles, both the cycles, 19 to 21, 2021 to 2023, both the cycles, they've come eighth place. And we all know what a legacy West Indies cricket has had. And I think it's mainly got to do... Yes, we can talk about the players, the fact that people choosing leagues away, the franchise leagues, which is obviously monetarily far more successful for a lot of the players. They make a lot more money playing all of that. I think the key answer is somewhere down the line, the number of times that I have told West Indies, the one thing that has been alarming for me is the fact that their infrastructure, their grounds, the facilities to practice have been very, very poor. And I think that is one thing, one area where they really need to look into because only when you provide infrastructure will there be players coming out from there. And when you talk about West Indies, we're talking about a group of islands, then it becomes that much harder for people to obviously have control over different islands. And that's one thing that they definitely need to get in place before they can get their cricket back, especially in the red ball format. I know Craig Brathwaite and the team in the last couple of years have done some good things, but nothing too special. Coming eighth twice in the last four years in two cycles is nothing to be proud of. And I think they know they're better than that. But I also think somewhere the West Indies Cricket Board must look into it deep and find a way to get the infrastructure up and running so that they can produce more quality players, which will definitely be there. It's only a question of whether they're going to rise up to the occasion and make sure that they come to international cricket and show how good they are.